Happy to have with us Hap Farber. He is the Director of Pulmonary Hypertension Center at Boston University. Thanks for being with us, sir. Thank you. So you co-authored a phase two study evaluating pulsed inhaled NO in patients with PAH. Right. What can you tell us about this? Well, um, I think uh, the study is uh, disappointing and potentially uh, provocative in two ways. One is, although the overall data are negative, uh, which Ray Benz is going to talk about this afternoon, there are there is a signal that looks like people who used it more than a certain number of hours per day. The longer you used it, the more likely it was to be effective. Now, what's interesting about that is the people who tended to use it more were people who were already on supplemental oxygen. Okay, so they were likely to use it more, and then they did get trending towards a positive response, such that there actually is going to be a second study, a phase two, a phase three study, looking at again inhaled NO, but using that subset of patients, patients who are on supplemental oxygen, and will use the inhaled NO more than six. I think it's 20 hours per day. Okay, so I think part of it has to do with. This idea that if I have inhale, if I'm already on supplemental oxygen, adding something else through that tubing is not a big deal. But if I'm not on supplemental oxygen and I don't have a reason to have a thing in my nose, I don't want to wear it. <laughs> so where is inhaled NO currently being used? So currently, it's used. It is used in a form of PAH, which is um, persistent pulmonary hypertension in the newborn. Now, I'm an adult. Doc, so I've never actually used it, but in the kids who have persistent pulmonary hypertension in the newborn, it actually is curative, okay? So it's used there, and it's also used as part of, as, the, as one of the things that have been chosen to be used for the uh, uh, vasodilator trials to see if somebody would be responsive to calcium channel blockers. Outside of pulmonary hypertension, it's used a lot uh, in things like ARDS or acute lung injury. Surgeons use it a lot post-op, especially valve stuff. Um, so it's used a lot outside of PAH, but not much in PAH thus far, except in the pulmonary hypertension, persistent pulmonary hypertension in the newborn. What's important for physicians to consider before using this therapy? Well, right now, it's not approved for PAH, except that subgroup of the kids. So unless you're a pediatrician or a neonatologist, you're probably never gonna use it yet, okay? But you, you would use it if you're conducting vasodilator trials when you cast people for their PAH. So that you would use it. Let's talk about this interesting situation you find yourself in, caught between two companies in the changing world of pharma. Well, it's actually, we're not caught. We're so we're referring to, for those of you who don't know, this inhaled NO was, original, was originally an Icaria product. And then Icaria, so that's the commercially available product. Icaria was bought, split the company to Icaria and Bellerophon, which has the outpatient thing, which is this. And then Icaria got bought by Mallinckrodt not long ago. It's only been like probably six months, I think. So that... So Bellerophon is now its own separate company. I think they're actually even traded on the, one of the stock exchanges. So they are specifically developing the inhaled NO for PAH as an outpatient regimen. So where do you go from here with this? Well, the, the, the FDA and the um, EMA, um, I believe, yeah, they did just approve doing a phase three study with different criteria than were used in the phase two study to do the, actually to try and study the patients who at least in the phase two study seem to have the better signal. Very good. Thanks for stopping by and My spending pleasure. a few minutes with us. Okay. All right.